Hi, my name is Chris Nelson and welcome to our National Karate Online e-learning class. And in this video, we're going to do a short introductory. So what, if you were a beginner, what would you need to know to be in a beginner class? Well, first thing we're going to start with is we bow in. So uh, as a matter of respect, we have the students and teachers bow towards one another. Um, it's not something like you're bowing down to someone or worshiping someone. It's a sign of respect. So if you think about um, if you met somebody, you would give them your hand and shake your hand. Of course, now with uh, the COVID virus, we're not supposed to do that anymore. So the Eastern way of doing it is actually pretty good. You would meet somebody and they would, as a sign of respect, they'd say hello by bowing. So we're going to start class just like that. And the way that works is you put your feet all the way together, as close as you can get them. Put your fingers tight, hands on your side, and you stand up real tall. Now this is chariot position, and that's the Korean word for attention. So you just stand up, just think about like a soldier. If you said attention, it would be that kind of a thing. Then the next word is a Korean word, and it's kyungye, kyungye. And kyungye means bow, or the little tr literal translation is actually salute. So again, if we think it from a military standpoint, um, and the, the U.S. Armed Forces would be attention, and they would salute, and in the Eastern, they would do attention, salute. All right, so we've got chariot, kyungye. We've got one more real important one, and that one is chumbi. And chumbi is a word that means ready. So you're ready to learn, you're ready to listen. Imagine you've got a class full of people and they're, you know, moving and combing their hair and fixing their belt. But you say chumbi, it gets everybody in a uniform, ready to go for the next karate move. All right, so let's review that. Now I want you to try doing this with me. So we have chario, which is attention, kiyongye, and then chumbi. So let's do it again. Chario, kiyongye, and chumbi. Now if you can remember, when you do that, it should always be the left foot that moves. It's just one of the martial arts etiquette things. So when I go to chario, it's the left foot. When I go to chumbi, it's the, it's the left foot. All right, one more time. Chario, kiyongye, chumbi. And then relax. Um, there's more that we'll learn, learn as we get higher, um, but that's the basics. The next thing we want to do is we want to get into what's called a fighting stance. Let me do a couple of different fighting stances. Um, for a four to seven year olds in the beginner class, we start them in a fighting stance. It's just kind of straight ahead like we were. Hands are up. So this is really important. Again, if you had a bully that's trying to grab you or a stranger, we want to make sure that we can protect ourselves. So the hands are up and um, usually people are right-handed, so if they're gonna punch you, a punch would come from that side, and we would do what's called an outside block. An outside block, you hit with this solid bone of the forearm, turns out, bam, hit, hit. If a punch came from this side, we would do the opposite. So again, hitting with that form, hit, hit, hit. Okay, now I want you to do this with me. So, just stand straight ahead, hands up, Imagine this punch is coming to the side, and you're going to block it. All right, we're going to do that ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now punch coming from this side. Bring this hand, this forearm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. Now imagine someone's coming in to choke you or to grab you. We're going to do both of those at the same time. So we're going to make an X in front of us. Both hands are going to go out, turn out again, hitting with that same hard part of the form. All right, let's do this again together. Let's do it ten times. So make an X and block. One, fold. Two, fold. Make an X. Three, fold. Four, fold, five, fold, six, fold, seven, fold, eight, fold, nine, one more, fold, and ten. Good job. Okay, now from here we're going to do more advanced fighting stance. So, um, you know, what is the, really the most important part about a fighting stance is put yourself in a position where you're going to be protected. So, if someone was, I felt, like I was in danger, if someone was attacking me, or even someone who started, you know, shouting or escalating, or I saw somebody that just looked threatening, 
I don't want to be straight on because they could hit me in the nose, they could hit me in the stomach, they could hit me in the groin. If I got pushed from this position, I'd go on my back really easily. So what we want to do is simply this. We're going to take one foot, step back. What that does, now if I get pushed, you know, I've got some leverage and my stomach, instead of being exposed, my groin, instead of being exposed, is now turned to the side. So if you hit me and I can get my hands up, then I'm going to be able to protect myself. I'm shielded. So this is my shield for my face. I'm going to cover my stomach. So if I was facing this way, I've got this hand protecting my solar plexus. Your solar plexus is where your ribs come together. And you've got your breastplate here. As you go down, there's a soft spot. And you've got muscles here, good, good strong stomach muscles. You've got ribs, breastplate, but there's a spot about the size of a quarter that's really kind of unprotected, and that's the solar plexus. And to make it worse, right behind that solar plexus is your diaphragm. So when you breathe, that's the muscle that controls it. So if you get hit there really hard, what happens is it causes that diaphragm to spasm, and then you get the wind knocked out of you. So if you've ever gotten hit real hard, or sometimes if you, you, know, you fall out of a tree, land on your back, it knocks the wind out of you, you, know, you, you feel like you can't breathe. And it's pretty impossible to defend yourself once you get the wind knocked out of you. So we're gonna cover that up. So again, if I'm facing this way, this hand is protecting my face, this hand is protecting my stomach. Now look at my weight distribution. Um, I don't want my weight in the front. You know, if you're gonna punch me, I wouldn't want my face right there where you could hit it. I want my face back here a little bit. All right, so if you see the weight distribution, I'm putting more weight on the back leg. All right, so this hand's protecting my face, this hand's protecting my stomach. If someone tries to punch me, I can block it. I'll be able to counter, I'll be able to kick. So that's our fighting stance. All right, I just want to show you one more thing. I'm going to put a white belt across the floor here. And this would be a good exercise for you to be able to do at home. I want you to do this with me. So if we're in front of this, this belt, you can put any belt down. You can put a piece of tape on the floor, whatever obstacle you want to use. So I'm going to start in chun position. This is our ready stance. And when we do a fighting stance, we're going to do that block. So I'm going to put one hand over my ear, one hand over my bottom, cover my rib. And I'm going to step past that belt and block. Now if you notice my footwork here, I've got one foot in front, one foot in back. Okay, and that's going to be really important. Because again, if I have both feet on one side of the line, now I'm open again. I want to be able to turn sideways, and this just helps me remember that. Okay, so I'll, I'll probably bring that out in a little bit as well. Um, but I want to be able to do is some techniques from here. So now we're in our fighting stance, and I'm going to do the blocks that we did when we were straight ahead, but show you how you would do that from a fighting stance. So the first thing we're going to do is take the front hand. And we're going to get a little bit more of a fold to it. We're going to bring all the way by our ear. So we have the elbow low and the fist high. And as I block, I turn it out. I can fold and block. So again, when I said fist high, elbow low, that's important because if it's like this and someone punches me, it's going to come right over the top or it can come underneath the bottom. So I want it that direction. So sometimes we tell people, imagine you have like a tabletop and you've got that elbow on there and you just slide it across the tabletop. You could slide it in for an inside block, but that's our fighting stance, so it blocks out. So imagine someone's punching us here. Let's do that together. So touch your ear, block. One, touch your ear, two, touch your ear, block, three, fold, four, fold, five, fold, six, fold, seven, fold, eight, fold, nine, fold, 10. All right, now we're gonna try the other side. So if you happen to like this side front, it doesn't matter what side you defend yourself with, we're gonna try this side. So we're gonna have this hand fold here, this hand fold here, and bring it out and block, fold, block, fold, block, fold, block, fold, block. Imagine someone's punching you, they've got a big haymaker swing coming at you, ready, Block, fold, block, fold, block. One more, fold, block. Good, back to chew B. And relax for a second, okay. So that's our fighting stance, that's our outside block. 
I just want to be able to show you a couple of kicks from here. So um, I'm going to bring my belt back here. Let's do this together. So we're in chumi position. We're going to fold for that block. Fold on the bottom. Step behind that line and block. All right, now we want to be able to kick and punch from this position. Now, if, if someone was close to me, like maybe grabbing my wrist, then I'd be able to use my front foot. I shift back a little bit and I kick. So the knee comes up and I kick. If they're a little farther away, maybe I want, maybe they're coming at me and I want to kick them before they get to me and I'm going to use the back foot because then I've got more reach. All right, so you want to see the side view. Front foot, shift the weight back, kick. You want to really bend that knee. You want to have a, a, a real good range of motion. So as tight as you can in the beginning and the end. Knee up, kick, back foot, point, kick, land behind, point, kick, land behind. Okay, so now I'm gonna go from this position. All right, let's do this together. So put one foot in front, one foot in back, hands are up. We use the front foot, knee up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Okay, let's do the back one. So remember, we're going to kick and then go behind this line again. That's really important. As we do that, notice this side of my face is kind of exposed. So as I pull through, I'm going to bring that hand up and come back. All right, ready together? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We're going to do the other side. So again, front foot, back foot. Let's start with the front foot. They're kind of close, maybe grab my wrist, maybe grab my shirt. I'd be able to shift back a little bit. One, two, three, bend it tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Now we're going to do the back of it. Remember, cover the face, and when you're done, Land behind that line. Take a deep breath. All right, back leg. Ten of them. One. Come on, do it with me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And then we're going to go back to Chumbi. Left foot goes to right. Chariot. Kyogen. All right, so that's all for the beginner section today. Uh, you can watch the next video and keep training. If you want to keep playing this over and practice, that'd be great. But this is a great opportunity while you're indoors, while we're stuck inside. Get some exercise, learn the valuable skill of self-defense at the same time. All right, see you next time.